like we built the brand. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. it can't happen. We are culture. Nothing moves without us. I just want to say from the bottom of my heart. I got it on me. I'd like to take this chance to apologize. To absolutely nobody. For another day. Yes, mask the ambiance. This, this one feels like uh, home, home sweet home, home field. field. <laughs> yes. The only okay. center, well, one of the major centers of New York. Uh, yeah. Possibly. Yeah. <laughs> Between the Bronx. Between, Between all five Yonkers, all five Westchester. Boroughs, Westchester. This is a hub. This is our house. And this is this is this is actually Rudy's house. Yes. Not all the other ones. No, the other ones are my house too. But this one's actually his house. Woo! And when Joey's striking, you know something's wrong. Something's <laughs> definitely wrong. When Joey's striking, you know this is home field. Yep, you know this is home field. <laughs> Apocalypse is looking strong today. Yes. But um let's get on to our topic. Well, on today's show, we're gonna have uh, we're gonna go around the UBA, the around South. The UBA, the South. They had a bunch of stuff. They had double headers. They had double well. headers. And we're they gonna had, have double headers. They had to make too. up for the uh, the inch of snow that fell a long time ago, yeah, which they, somehow they, never got cleaned they, up. When it's snows in the South, they don't know how to drive. They don't know, they don't how, know how to. How they don't know how to clean it up. Oh my God! It's an inch of snow. Help me! Yep. Help me! From there, also, we're going to have the new top 50. The new top 50. Gordon blesses us again yes. with another list. Is Apocalypse on that list, though? They should still be on there. They should still be on that list. And if they're you not, they'll guys? be on there after this. Yes. Uh, Tribe is still there. Tribe will still be there. Uh, and they have a matchup against City Morgue today. Yes, that's his key matchup today. Which is why we're here. Yes. And we're going to give you a, a, a post-game recap yes. of all the matches that Stories happened here in the Bronx. Under. And... Um, <laughs> That's what she said, folks. That's what she said. <laughs> and last but not least, we're going to end it off with GG. He G -G. gave us a game called Atonement. I don't even know how to pronounce that. Uh, atonement. atonement. There we go. See? It's a three word. It's a one word symbol. With Eng three English 101. Yes. It's a great thing. Atonement. <laughs> Let's kick this one off. Yes, yes, yes. Around the UBA, if well, you didn't see the last episode, yes. we were at Majestic. Majestic. And uh, we bought a 40 bag. We did catch a 40 bag, but uh, it was but it, a, it wasn't the, it wasn't the same. A little questionable, but called the, cheating, you know, a little bit. That's what uh, Mr. Tom Twist said. Yes, yes. But the matchup that we did go for was number nine class acts. Yes. They took on number Latino 43 All -Stars. Latino All Stars. That, Big time matchup right there, and uh, there was a lot at stake. In that match. That was Latino All-Stars showing their yeah. authority. Well, class acts, they're 8-0. They were still undefeated. Way to stand up. They were a top-10 team. Way to stand up. Everything was looking good. Yes. And, and Latino All-Stars, they came out and they took that zero away from class acts. Yes. Uh, they won 24-16. to 16. It was 24 a close 24-16, yes. And with that, tournament. they yep. lost first place right now. They did lose first place. Arsenal did get to move up. Arsenal with that 40 piece winds up. They took a, I think, a humongous lead. I think they'll be up now by about 23. 23 easily, yeah. Um, From a one point lead to yeah. now 23. No, well, no. Class X had the one point, point lead. lead. So now they're down 23. 23. And the and the issue now is, you got Arsenal one, Class X now two. Legacy wound up getting and a win also. Also, which made them in third. And, official. and they're in third by about 14 points. Yes, ahead of. Uh, LA. LA is now in fourth uh, by a lot. And those four teams right now have probably solidified themselves yes. in the playoff spots. It's just going to, I want to see the race to the finish to see who winds up where. Well, actually, Total Mayhem has a chance. They do. There's an outside chance for Total Mayhem, but they're really going to have to do something. They, they legitimately have their destiny in their yeah. own hand because they're going up against yeah. Arsenal. Class Acts. Yeah. They're, they're going up against the next three matches. Well, I know Class Acts, and, uh, Class Acts their next match is going to be against Devil's Rejects. Yeah. It's probably going to be a chance for them to kind of bounce back yeah. and gain some ground. Uh, Hopefully they show up. That, that thing. Yeah, it depends. And, 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 and Latino All-Stars All draws Dream Team next. So I got LA for the win on that one. I, I would say that as well. <laughs> I want to give a shout-out. You said Total Mayhem. Shout-out Antonio Valentin Jr. Shoots 299. 99. Also, I, I was also, there for that. I yeah. was there for that. Also, uh, a shout out, uh, Chuck Trimblett. This is not necessarily a shout out. Chuck Trimblett from Dysfunctional Bowlers shoots uh, 297. Oh, that's an underwear checker. What happened? That's an underwear checker. Completely. What happened there? That's it. Please check the underwear because he was just on the line like, oh my and god. Also, shout out, shout out to the Arsenal. You had two guys, Jake Rollins and Joseph Fonser. Went Trey. Both shot 300s there. So yes. shout out to those guys. Yes. Uh, that was the only tour stop we had in the north. Everything else happened in the, in the south. south. 
So, Which the South is still brewing. Yeah. They're still brewing. Yeah, they still have some matches no left. No matter the well. lead Hitman have. Right. It's right. still brewing. Well, let's Nobody's not, touching the Hitman right let's now. Let's not get the Hitman. We're going to get to them. Yeah. But the, I want to go to the Triad District. That's where GOAT is. Yes. All right? They had a doubleheader. Greatest of all time. They had they had their first matchup, the number five in the UBA. Yep. The first matchup was a taking care of business. All right? Uh, GOAT, they won their last two. They were out the top ten. They now right. worked their way back into the top ten. Right. Uh, taking care of business, they also won their last two matches, and they just beat a ranked team. Uh, they beat number 37, Disorderly Conduct. Really? A big win there. That was huge. Yeah. Here's that the bigger huge. part. Back-to-back -back upsets Bye. for taking care of business as yes. they beat GOAT. Yes, they did. 22 to 18. Yes, they did. And, and I'll tell you this. It came from a 299 shot by Dwight Adams yep. and a 300 from Clint Cumbie. Cumbie. Yep. And that was enough. To taking care of business. Over. They won the team win by five. And that's what gave them that 10, them 10 points and a big-time victory right there over Things Goat. Things are getting serious in the South. Yeah, yeah. And and the thing was, again, it was a doubleheader. So Goat, huge loss right there. Right. They had their second matchup and going against Sub-Zero, number 12 in the UBA. Shout out to Sean Wade. He went Trey, I think, against them. He did. But Sub-Zero had their first match. They went against hot point, uh, High Point Hot Shots and took an L. Really? They lost at 30 to 10. They lost the high point hot shots. Then the second matchup they goes against go. GOAT. And GOAT had a bad taste in their mouth after losing there. Yeah. They wound up taking this out on Sub Zero. They, they won 28 Come to 12. On, Jax. I just got off the phone with you. Yep. Now you were right. Sean Wade, he did take, uh, he did shoot 300. Right. So congrats. Um, his pair did actually really well. They, they took eight points. They wound up losing the team wood by, by 100. So that cost them. Also, though, that's the, setting dominance the, too. But also, Sean Wade wasn't the only one who shot 300. World champ Sam. Josh Pittman shot, Trey shot too. 300 yeah. of his own. Yeah, he did. So, but we kind of expect that from him. Yeah. Here's the other thing. Goat lost the first matchup by five points. By, right. by five wins, they win this one by six to win the match. Wow. <laughs> so that's crazy. Uh, it's one of those things that. It, Goat winds up saving face right there. That, they they uh, wound up keeping that, that, the lead. That's actually, yeah, that's not yeah. authority, but that's that's just well, getting the win, I think. That's, yeah. not, that's not just... Uh, the other thing is Sub-Zero, uh, back-to-back losses there in the doubleheader. That's not what you want to do. That's definitely going to drop you in the rankings. Facts. And, and it's going to probably drop them down uh, in the standings also. Disorderly conduct, we've mentioned them before. Right. They wound up taking 56 points and passing Sub-Zero. They're now in second place in that division. Wow. That division is close. Listen... Go, they're at 259. Disorderly wow. Conduct six points behind. They're at 253. Sub Zero lost a lot of ground. And Carolina Swag, the number four team there. I do like that team too. They, they're only down one point to Sub Zero. Things are really interesting in that division. Jax, quick shout James, out. Get JD, come on, let's get you. Gotta do it. You gotta get your guys together. Quick shout out to Orion Yunt. I hope I didn't get. To, I hope I didn't get that wrong. Of New World Order, he shot 300. Also shout out. Paul Hamilton of Disorderly Conduct, 244, 278, 279, shoots 801. Okay, all Good right, shot. all right. Okay, from I, can, there, I can respect those. I can respect those. From, from Go, we're going to talk about one of my favorite teams, the number one team in the UBA. You wanted to get them, Hitman. Kevin Decker, um, what we spoke about earlier, <laughs> I think it's in full effect. Uh, get him a 3X so he can lay with it. He's going to get your jersey as a... I want the, the, the Hitman hit jersey. I got a king size bed at home. If you need the, if you need the Hitman blanket, let me know. Yes. I'll, I'll gladly purchase it, but yes. I take the donation. That's my team. <laughs> That's my team. Uh, <laughs> Hitman, again, number one team in the UBA. Huge leader in the division. Undefeated. They took on uh, Capital City Hitters in and match still. one. Um, listen, Hitman, they, they go through every team right now in the division. That's a given. Yeah. That's a yeah. given. They already they, they, they established their dominance in that yeah. team. I mean, that, in that division. That but I got I got to see how they're gonna formulate against DGF. Outrage! You want to see them go against uh, against the North? Uh, a premier, a sure. premier team because nobody else in the South is clearly. So you, so you have these guys penciled in for August. Yes, I do have them in for August. I do I do as well. I do have them um, in for August. They took the win here. This was this was nothing special. They win 32 to eight. Yeah. Uh, over them, and also that put them that sets them up for the second match, which is against the second place team, which was hashtag Violators. Yes. All right. Uh, yeah. Even though, listen, everyone here, everyone in this division is going for second place. 
But the Violators, they just they just wanted to get some points here to, to stay in second place, to be yeah, honest. To be honest. Uh, that that didn't go so well. Hitmen win 36 to 4. We so, were just talking about this. They've been averaging 30 every freaking match. Yeah. Yeah, they so, are. So will they hit 400? At this rate, yes. Well, right now, let's put it this way. Shout out Daniel Turner from Hitmen. Daniel yes. Turner shoots 269, 289, 255, 813. So China, they picked up. China, do that in the they North. picked up. Home field and do that. Sixty-eight points in these two in these two matches. Can they now make, have a one hundred and two point lead on the division, um, oh and God. they're they're on a quest for four hundred. And they're sitting right now after this at three five four. Let's put it that way. Also, a uh, quick shout out to James Campbell from Capital City's hitters. Shoots three hundred there. A um, hundred and two point lead. Let me tell you something. From two to five, this division is really change. close. Yeah, it is. But not after that. Not, not after the first place. No. First place is kind of. They're still in your. They're still in your 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 dreams right now. Well, listen. The, the rest of the other playoff teams, it's actually really close. Yeah. But uh, from here, let's take it over to the deep south. I'm gonna suck the lead for second. Well, it's not. It's how the hitmen do it. Uh, again, I don't want to say it. If you want to say it, hitmen win everything. He said it. I got him to say it. Yes. Yes. They've been doing got good. Got him to say it. <laughs> To the deep south. The yes. deep south, we have one of your favorite teams, the Spartanburg Savages. Yes. yes. They're number 10 in the UBA, and they t they took on Boo Boo. Oh, now, wait, wait, wait. now check this I out. I know what's going on Check there. this out. This was a double position round. Yes. Which was a makeup for the tour stop earlier, right. which was also a position round. Right. So they took on Boo Boo twice, a legitimate doubleheader against the same team. Right. So. The Savages, as we know, they're coming off their first loss of the year. Yep. Um, but they did beat Boo for the first time they played each other. And they will do it again. Yeah, well, Boo Boo, I know Leonard Freeman, they had that bad taste in their mouth from that loss. They want to avenge that loss. Did they? Um, no. Uh, not once and not twice. Savages win both. Get your game up. Yep. Get your game up. Savages win both, and they took 58 points here. They won 28 to 12 the first time. They won 30 to 10 the second time. Yes. So... And, and, and Bufu, look, they didn't even show up. I mean, underperformed big time. Um, I, I would say this. Nobody on Bufu, especially that second matchup, no one on Bufu shot over 675. And, and, and that's just, I mean, the, if you want to be on the big stage, you got you to gotta show up. And you you got to show up, first and foremost. Yeah. And then on top of that, you got to strap on your shoes and make sure they're strapped on right. But you're now, you're, Bufu now 0-3 against the Savages, and there's still more position. Yep, and there's still more to time to go. Up. And, and let me show you how badly this works. The Savages now, they've opened up a 61-point lead in the division. The second-place team now is complete anarchy. Wow. The third-place team now is Dirty South Legends, and Bufu is barely holding on to the fourth spot. How, how ironic. And, and there could be a complete collapse out of the playoffs. You got right? AC Express, they're up 63 in their division. <laughs> Spartanburg Savages up 61. Yeah. And they both held. Oh, they still hold well. AC still holds. The Vixens belt with Mia Williams and, so Casey, and still sorry, Savage, and Savage as well. Still hold yep. that belt with Daphne Smith. With Daphne Smith. Daphne like, Smith. That's I big. can see that being a little rivalry coming up. And, and the Savages also hold the tag team belts yes. with uh, Nick Smith and Ken yes, Foy. So. Yes, yes. So I mean, that, that's huge there. That's very huge. Uh, from the deep south, we're going to go to the inner coastal division. Yes. Uh, another really good one here, actually. You had the number 18 team reality check. Reality Check is a solid squad. They're in first place. They took on the Watchmen. They're in third place. Did they watch? <laughs> um, they, 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 they definitely watch. They watch they Reality Check, check put it on them. Check. Boom. They, they check them off. <laughs> reality Check wins 28 to 12. Wow. And the thing was, Reality Check, they just took their first loss of the season. Yeah. All right? And they wound up getting the gap closed on them because the next team is right behind them, which is number 19, 19. Motion to Strike. Yes. They're within 10 points in that division. Right. All right. Reality Check gets that bounce back win, and guess what? The next matchup winds up going Reality Check versus Motion to Strike. <laughs> so number 18, number 19, one and two. Wow. Humongous matchup right there That's for crazy. the division, basically. That's crazy. Yeah. And I'm not going to lie. This matchup got me going crazy here, too. Yeah, they this do. This matchup right now also. They do. They do. We're going we're gonna to see if we can get somebody to talk to these guys uh, yeah, well, definitely, afterwards. Yeah, definitely. For sure. We're uh, home. I think everybody wants to talk to us. Everybody wants to talk to us. <laughs> uh, reality check right now. 
They definitely put a stamp on this. They get the win. They win 30 to 10. Yes. Big win there. Motion to strike. Motion to strike. Let's go. They had a rough day. Right. All right. They wound up losing to the Watchmen. Right. And then wind up losing here to Reality Check. So they, they go they go kind of full sub zero. They go so, one two, and you can't yeah. do that in a double header. Facts. That's that's devastation. Yes. Devast no, devastation. <laughs> All right. No check mass it. destruction. Okay. No, no, that's <laughs> devastation. Listen, reality check, they just opened up a 48-point lead now with, yeah. with that. Motion to strike, gone. Watchmen, four, four points, points out of second place. Yes. And the number four team is striking Vipers. So it's very close. Yeah, it is. Yeah. To the Queen City District. Okay. They were at 10 Park Lanes. Another good squad, number eight team in the UBA, Conspiracy Theory. Very quietly, number eight team in the very, UBA. Very honestly. quietly, but doing it. They're, they're doing it. They they're took on the militia it. here. Right. And And... The militia, they were trying to see if they can get a win here. They would actually put themselves in a playoff spot. They're right. just outside of it. Um, just the name here, Bryson Lamb. Bryson Lamb leads the way for conspiracy theory. Right. Shoots 256, 287, 276, total 819, and route to a humongous 38 to 2 victory yes. for conspiracy theory. My and God. and militia, they had a hold. They had a chance at the playoff spot. They're gonna fade. They're out of it now. They're out of it. Yeah. No doubleheader here. But the conspiracy needed. theory, no. They're, they're up by about 70 points. The damage in the division. is done. The yeah. damage is done. Yeah. And, and last but not least, we're going to go to the, the Sand Hills district. Another another yes. good squad. Number 14, See, High Octane. I, High Octane. They took on the Disciples. Disciples, they're I in like third place. Name. Nice team. Nice team. Yeah. And, and, and High Octane, they took a loss yes, uh, they the did. last time out. They lost they big, too, big to, to Roland Rebels. Roland Wow. Wow. We're going to write that down. This just in. Is that this, a this just in? Breaking news. While we're recording. Let's, 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 let's. Remember, we're at home field. We're in the Bronx Division. Let's write that down. And can we say Apocalypse 38 2? Wow. 38 wow. 2. Uh, we, to we take will, unofficially will. first place of the division. Depending on what happens on the uh, tribe side. The tribe side. But uh, wow, that's, congratulations that's Apocalypse. Yikes. That's, Wait a minute, that's big. Bad. We'll talk about that in a little bit. <laughs> but, uh, back to high octane again. Yes. The disciples, they're on a four-match win streak here right. also. Uh, high octane decided to turn it up another gear. And they took a big win. They won 34 to 6. So the hit this is the other thing now. High Octane got the win. Every other playoff team in that division, that's all right. We just got a little wobbly. No big deal. We still go with it. Every other playoff team in that division lost. And because of that loss and the big win by High Octane, they're now up by 52 in that division. Wow. So big time, big time win there. Shout out to and Avery Brewer of yes. Synergy. Shoots Synergy. 300. What are so, you trying to bring back the old Synergy? They, they're trying. Uh, they're not too far out of the playoff spots, though. No, they're sure. not. No, they're not. So uh, a, a big time good wrap up there. Yeah, a lot of motion in the south. Uh, and, and there's that's a lot of motion right now. There's a lot of emotions right here again. <laughs> when we come back, Gordon's blessed us. That top 50, the, the top 50 is coming up next. Yes. We'll be back.